What's going on guys? Today I'll be doing a review of the 1v1 Fight Gear Pro Trainer Elite Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Uber up the styles like miles and shit. Like 60s funky wires with waves and perms. Just sending junky bitches. All right guys, so I have a nice good close up of these 1v1 Fight Gear PTE Pro Trainer Elite training gloves. I got these in 16 ounce Velcro closure in the black and white color scheme. These are kind of a limited release glove. They're not mass produced by any means. Uh, Jason Neese, the owner of 1v1, is also responsible for doing the custom Adidas boxing gloves that you see a lot of pro boxers now currently using but you can see here just the quality of these gloves are fantastic they're one of the very few gloves made here in the United States by a veteran owned company and um, you can definitely tell the the pride and the craftsmanship is definitely there um, you can see that it has a full leather construction made in the USA it has almost like a nice silk liner um, I'm sure it's some kind of synthetic material that feels like silk but it does have a very nice interior liner in there and you can see just it looks fantastic overall kind of give you guys a close-up of the logo made in the usa the 1v1 logo right there um, you do have kind of the oversized piping on the velcro straps gives it a nice touch of quality and feel and these are currently my favorite gloves i'll tell you guys here in a little bit why in my review but these are my favorite gloves right now and for a good reason this these gloves are just fantastic let's check out the weight these are 16 ounces so let's see how true to weight they are scale zero this is the right glove so these are 15.4 so basically 15 and a half ounces these are 15.2 so not too far off you know not exactly at 16 ounces but nonetheless for training gloves Really nice. On to the review. What's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review of the 1v1 Pro Trainer Elite boxing gloves. I got mine in the black and white color scheme. These are a 16 ounce Velcro closure glove. And if you guys are unfamiliar with 1v1 Fight Gear, they are a veteran owned company based out of Florida that's been around for several years now that makes gloves here locally in the United States. So they're one of very few um, glove manufacturers. I only really can think of 1v1 and I believe um, John Gollum, who's based out of uh, the Northeast, I believe in Pennsylvania, are really the only two manufacturers based here in the United States um, that makes gloves locally. Um, if you guys 
know of any more, make sure you guys put those down below in the comments below. But um, they're really the only two companies I know that currently make and source their gloves here. Um, they run a smaller operation. Uh, they are not mass produced uh, glove manufacturer. They make their gloves in small batches, so they're um, very high quality. I have much more of a custom and boutique feel to these um, these gloves. Um, and they're also behind the Adidas lines of custom gloves. So if you guys have seen some of the pro fighters like Ryan Garcia um, and some other fighters use the current um, higher end Adidas glove lines, I'm not talking about the entry level stuff that you can find on you know on Title or even on like Ringside or some of the other sporting good websites but they are responsible for the higher end gloves the only drawback uh, with these pro trainer elites is because of the contract that 1v1 has with adidas to make their custom gloves they cannot do any customization for the 1v1 uh, brand um, the good side to that is that 1v1 is actually planning on coming out with other color schemes and they're also going to be doing a lace-up iteration of the Pro Trainer Elite Glove. So you definitely will have more color choices as well as a lace-up for those of you that want to use the lace-up versions of these gloves. So let's go over the five things. First is going to be the actual glove design. As you can see here, this definitely has a more compact profile um, for a 16-ounce glove. So for those of you that really like the compact glove, um, including myself, I love compact style boxing gloves. These definitely would fit the bill. Um, you can see that the black and white color scheme is really classic and traditional. It doesn't have too much flash or flair to it. Um, I'm more of a, a fan of that. You can see the, the 1v1 logo that's screen printed on the back. So it's made in the United States or made in the USA. Um, turning it around, you can see that it does have an attached thumb. You do have a grip bar and a Velcro closure that's reinforced right here on the inner wrist. But outside of that, nothing too crazy with the actual design of the glove. It does use a four layer multi-layer foam padding, two layers of open cell, two layers of closed cell foam that is higher density and higher quality. So you get the protection and feedback of a, of a really high end glove without the extra bulk. So a lot of the lower end gloves that you find um, will compensate with using a lot more foam or a lower, lower quality foam padding, which essentially makes a, the, the glove a lot bulkier. Um, which you know a lot of beginners or people that are coming into boxing will think that actually adds more protection when it doesn't all that's really doing is adding volume to the glove uh, with these gloves um, you definitely have the protection and feedback that you want which is probably my favorite thing about these gloves which I'll go over here in a bit but uh, because of that you get all of those all of those features but more of a compact glove now the quality of gloves are phenomenal you can see it uses just high grade quality leather, really nice and thick. doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. You can feel the grain of the leather on the inside. You can see that the density of the foam is about a medium density foam right there. But it feels really nice. It absorbs the shock very well. You can see everything looks really good here as well. And you do have some stitching on the inside. That looks fantastic. Double stitching on the grip bar. All the leather is done really nicely. It's bonded very well to the foam on the inside. You know, on the edge right there, you can see that everything looks really good. You know, no stitching that's coming apart. Nothing that's off track. The piping is done really nicely. The stitching on the, the inner side of the thumb looks really good. On the area where the thumb meets the index finger looks really nice as well. Stitching is done really nice with the thumb attached to the back of the hand. You can see that it uses a little bit of oversized piping on the wrist strap which I really like. It's a nice feature to have that oversized piping. It kind of gives it more of a rugged feel. All leather strap there. Nothing synthetic on this glove. Everything is genuine leather. Um, piping looks good and then the in inside liner it's almost like a silk I know this is probably a synthetic polyester liner but it has more of a silk like feel to it rather than a nylon feel where you find with like the winnings or some of the other boxing gloves um, it feels a little bit more luxurious and thicker so I like that they use a little bit higher quality components on the inside of the glove as well as on the outside um, you do have your made in the USA tag there with the 16 ounce tag as well as the 1v1 warning label um, but the quality on these gloves are top-notch right up there 
with winning, fly, all of the higher end glove lines. And, um, in my opinion, these are better than Grant as far as the quality goes. Just beautiful leather and construction done very nicely. The comfort of the gloves are fantastic. Put your hand in here. First thing you notice is they fit like a glove, no pun intended. Put the Velcro strap on. Um, you know, it feels nicely broken in. You know, you don't have any areas where it feels like it's stiff whatsoever. You can make an excellent fist with these. My thumb is in a perfect position. You know, my, my wrist feels really nice. The glove cuff is not too long. So for those of you that hate those really long cuffs, these glove cuffs are really nice. They sit at a good height. Again, these being a little bit more compact, you don't have to worry about that dropping down too low. You know, that Velcro strap is about mm, three and a half inches rotates around your wrist to really lock it in. You have about a quarter inch of padding on both sides of your wrist to give you the support that you need. The grip bar is in a perfect position. My thumb is in a nice position. I don't feel like there's any pinching that goes on here. The hand compartment isn't too wide. Hand compartment wise, I have medium sized hands. These fit me perfectly. The beauty of the inside of this hand compartment, I believe it feels like it almost feels like a memory foam that they use both on the fingertip and what surrounds your hand. So both the thumb has a really nice foam that is on the back of the, the thumb, but that doesn't feel really stiff. So it has a little bit of give to it, which is nice for some flexibility and just comfort. But the thing that really shines with these gloves, in my opinion, is the fingertip compartment. It has almost feel, it feels like a memory foam on the fingertips, like a neoprene or a memory foam, so that when you curl and make a fist, you can just make an excellent fist and it just feels super comfortable. And then when you see how it rolls over, you can see that the punching surface has a nice amount of area to land on the bag or whatever you're punching. So, you know, whether you're using these for sparring, mitts, or the heavy bag, you can see that it just lands perfectly on the punching surface and I can make an excellent fist. And you can see there I can really curl my finger over without relatively any resistance, which I love, that broken in feel that you look for. And, um, just feels excellent, man. Comfort there is just phenomenal. I really love the way these gloves feel. You know, um, the performance of these gloves, again, are, are top notch. I feel that when you make contact with the bag, you know exactly that you've made contact and where the placement of the shot is on your knuckles, but it does a fantastic job of absorbing the shock. There's really only one other glove I feel that has done that really well. Uh, which a lot of people are not a fan of those gloves, which are the actual the Venom Hammer gloves. I did a review on those. Those came out when Lomachenko first transferred over from Rival to Venom. But those gloves, for, his, for you know, not a lot of people were a fan of those just based on the price and the design of the gloves. But I've yet to find a glove that gave me the actual feedback of those gloves with the same amount of protection. And these gloves match and surpass those in terms of feedback and protection. And when I say feedback, you know, for those of you that know what I'm talking about, when you hit the heavy bag, a lot of the time some gloves have too much protection and they do a good job of absorbing the shock, but it feels like you're not really making contact with the bag, if, if you know what I'm talking about. Like you, you don't feel the actual contact point or where your knuckles meet the bag. Uh, where these, you can really feel that. You really feel that, that power transfer, but it does a great job of actually dispersing the shock of the punch. So even if you're you're really wailing on the bag, you can feel where you're hitting and you can feel that the actual shock disperses. You don't get any sore knuckles, you don't feel any discomfort in your wrist, and you feel confident in being able to land your shots without any discomfort. So, and they perform fantastic. I mean, I didn't feel at any point in time of using these on the bag or training in the gym that I wanted to take these gloves off because they were uncomfortable or I started getting sore knuckles or anything like that. I, I felt like these gloves fit me perfectly and I was able just to rock these out and just keep going and not having any kind of uh, discomfort whatsoever or any degradation of the actual uh, performance of the glove. Now, cost of these gloves are $290 with free shipping in the continental USA. So again, they are definitely more on the higher end, more of expensive gloves. Uh, but for $290, I think these are well worth it. I mean, these perform better. To me, these perform better than winning gloves, the MS 500s which are fantastic gloves. You know, obviously winning has been around for many moons now. Everybody knows about winning, have used winning, pros all over use winning, but in my opinion, these surpass the winnings in terms of 
just the actual feedback and performance. I mean, the quality is about right there. You know, neck and neck, you can argue which one has better quality. But the performance of these gloves, just hitting the bag with these compared to the winning, I, I have a much more enjoyable experience just because of the way the feedback transfers through the foam on these and how they feel. So um, just a superb glove overall. Again, $290, I know it's kind of a steeper um, price when it comes to the price-wise. Um, but if you're considering the other gloves that are available, with the, the quality that you get and the feedback and the performance, you know, winnings are usually anywhere from 350 on up. You do have the flies, which are about $400. You do have grant. We already know what grants are. Those are a minimum of $400. Um, so for the price that you're paying, um, these are definitely well worth it, in my opinion. Plus, they're limit, made in a limited amount. Not many people are going to have these, um, but they're definitely flying under the radar. Um, I think that these are a fantastic glove for the value and the price that you pay for these. So. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll make sure to put the link in the description box where you can find these 1v1 Fight Gear Pro Trainer Elite gloves. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.